All right. Gun girl? Yeah, let's go to the gun girl. Uh, so, all right. Will you give me the, uh, here, I'm going to go for the uh, special news report. Who? And now we go to special gun girl correspondent, Matt Lack, to explain to us who this is. Who is, I, 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 I vaguely remember her, but I don't remember it specifically. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember getting this title of the, the gun girl correspondent, but I, as far as I remember, she's the Kent State girl who was helped full in coordinating the diaper protest uh and then later tpusa threw her under the bus and she went independent why is she gun girl though uh she, she's the one who carried her gun at graduation. yeah she, oh, she carried a gun at yeah took some graduation pictures i think with the gun and she's all about uh, you know firearms now people have to understand i want to just put this clip in context right now what they're doing on the right is they're trying to find what is going to be the um the that that viral video that's going to own the libs that is going to play in and provide Donald Trump with a theme going forward, right? Like, what is it going to be? Like, you know, they took out Acorn, uh, um, and in part because the Democrats are so weak and Acorn that, that, you know, people underestimate the importance of that. So, but here's, I'm going to go out and do this and, 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 you know, uh, more power to them. Uh, I, I, Given the opportunity and the time, I will go do it as well uh, on uh, different topics, obviously. And here they are. Now, here's the part that I don't understand. This is a clip from uh, her show, I guess, Liberty Hangout. It's where Liberty... Just hanging out, talking Liberty with the pals. One of the beauties about Liberty is that it just can hang out if it wants. Um, and she's going on campus. Now, for the life of me, this is what I would call the blooper reel. Yeah. She seems to be putting out footage that does not necessarily, but this is, they live in their own universe, folks, and they think this is, this is the owning of the libs. So she's on some college campus. Do we know which one it is? We don't know. I, it sort of looks vaguely familiar to me, oddly enough. Where is she from? Ohio, though, right? Okay, so uh, here, maybe it's Kent State, but here, here she is. Here's some random dude at a college thing. Remember, conservatives love <clears throat> to go and approach college students and try and get them to say something. And this is how they, they, they you know, I debated my son at an elementary school and that was, okay, go, here's. What do you think about putting urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises and they just want to stand and pee? Um, I think people just making too big of a deal about it. I don't really care. <laughs> Naughty words. Okay, so we should or shouldn't? I mean, I don't really care. Okay, what about tampons and pads and men's restroom for men who have periods? If you're really getting that worked up about it, why does it matter? Like, I don't care. It's just sitting there. I'm not going to take it. Okay, so we should provide men with tampons. I mean, if a dude wants a tampon for some reason, he can have a tampon. That's not my business. What would he use it for? I don't know. That's his problem. <laughs> what would he use a pad for? His problem. Do you think they should seek medical advice if they're having bleeding? I mean, if they want to, I don't really care. Why should I care? I don't know, I care about people. If they're you know, bleeding I, out of their penis, yeah. I would want to... I care about people's personal rights. They can do whatever they want. It's not, none of my business. <laughs> yeah, there you go. When, uh, when the Liberty Hangout gets a little bit crowded with too much Liberty. I love how she's going like, she's like penis bleeding. Like she thinks like, I've got, this is, and she's right. Slam I mean, done. it's going to, that is going to go uh, viral uh, because um, maybe not necessarily in the way that she was thinking it was. I guess that's the idea. Like if you can show that, and there was another clip after that in that same thread. I'm receiving reports that this girl pooped herself at a party. Oh yeah, that's true Hence, too. Well, maybe shouldn't be reminding let's just say that's people a about the bathroom. That's a legend. That's a legend. Um, well, if she did, we know she participated in the diaper protest as that's well. That's true. I mean, uh, she has priors, but I would also. S <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is I a like, diaper but pants you're supposed to poop? I like the Liberty Hangout coming to the conclusion that we should be interrogating people about their penile bleeding. Um, thanks for right, that Liberty. Right. Right. Yes, Li let's all. That is that's what liberty is all about. Turning <laughs> so in people crazy. if you think that their penis is bleeding. Forced too much. medical observations. <laughs> Unbelievable! Like they're really like this is. The best thing about it was that guy really did like articulate the whole yes. point. Is that 
are you really elevating like the idea of like urinals in bathrooms, like in, in, in women's bathrooms or the idea of like, God forbid that a man has to see an unused tampon in a bathroom. Like this is, this is what kind of society are we turning into? This is what they elevate and an attempt. But I think like this generation is just too, they're just like, you know, maybe, maybe if you go to a place where everybody is like in a, like a, an old folks home, you're going to do much better and going around. Like, can you believe there would be tampons in a men's bathroom? That would be, uh, you know, then maybe there might be a couple of people who are just like outraged. Uh, but the, the proper response to that is, is like, what's the big deal? Yeah. Normal people who aren't reactionary psychos don't care that much about this stuff in that it doesn't bother them if it's happening. I mean,